Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Donna and I am the Creole Crafter. i like to say thanks to all my subscribers. i also like to say thanks to my new subscribers and welcome to the family. And today I have some spring Easter inspiration for you. So let's get started. Here are the supplies that you need for this DIY project. I have some beads that I cut in half. They're old and new beads. Some I previously used and salvaged, saved. And I have some antique parchment paint by Apple Barrel from Walmart. I also have some Mod Spies from Walmart. And I also have one of those glass candlestick holders from Dollar Tree. And I have some spring napkins from Dollar Tree. I also have a wood round plaque on the stand with a base from Dollar Tree. Now what I did was I took the wood round and I gave it two coats of the antique parchment paint. But first I took the base off of it and it fell apart when I took it from, you know, when I separated the pieces. But I am going to salvage it. Yes, I'm going to use some wood glue and put it back together and keep it. That's what I'm going to do. And I also saved the galvanized word. And I took those, um, the, the wooden beads. Oh, God, here we go. And I hot glued them to the base of the candle holder. And all I used was some hot glue to do that. And that's what I'm doing here. I put a little hot glue on it and I attached it to the base of the candlestick holder. Now, after I got through painting the wood round, I let it completely dry and I gave it a coat of Mod Podge. Um, I'm going to give the candlestick a couple of coats of the antique parchment paint also. So while the candlestick is drying, what I'm going to do is, it's a single ply, two ply napkin. What I'm doing is taking that single ply off and I will be disposing that because I won't need that. And I'm just going to place a napkin over the wood round to cover the entire thing. Use my little iron to activate that Mod Podge with the heat and take my sanding block from Dollar Tree and sand off the excess napkin from around the wood round. Wood round, excuse me. And the next thing that I'm going to do is take some hot glue and attach the wood round to the candlestick holder to create a riser. And if you decide to do this project, I would suggest using um, a stronger adhesive, maybe some E6000 or super glue. But for video purposes, I'm just using hot glue. And you want to just put a little pressure on it until that um, glue sets. And that's it. And here's the final reveal. And I think it came out absolutely adorable. Leave me a comment below and let me know what you think of this Spring Easter riser. And it can serve many, many purposes. You can put it on an entryway table, an end table, a counter in your kitchen. And thanks for watching. If anything in this video that you like, give me a big thumbs up. Also, consider subscribing so you too can be a part of my YouTube family. And if so, don't forget the notification bell. Drop down, click all. YouTube will notify you when I upload a new video. And always, always remember to get lost in what you love. Bye-bye.